Hello, hi. Welcome to my grammar pages with a new topic for you today. And today's topic is honorifics. What is honorifics? Have you ever heard this? Yes, of course. We are very familiar to this one. Though the word sounds to be new but we are very much close to it every day in our daily usage we come across many titles when you open the register in the office or in a school the staff list mostly we can find some titles now you might have understood on what topic i'm going to start the class today so it is honor of x honor of x is nothing but the topic that deals with the titles of the people for example i have taken the word master master is the title given to the children who are below 12 years and it happens in america in america the children those who are below 12 years are given the title master when it comes to british the children those who are below 16 are given this title master and for example if you take master ayan master mm, trilok etc now coming to the next title it is mr and the people who are above 16 years according to british rule and those who are above 12 years according to american rules are titled mr and the short form of this mr is m r mr and coming to this we can go with mr kailash saxena Mr. Shiva Naik, and one thing you need to remember: when you are putting the title Mr., you are not supposed to take only the first name. The first name and the last names are mandatory. suppose if you use the word as if you use the name as mr kailash it is wrong and you can use mr saxena this is right you can use the second name but you are not supposed to use the first name individually otherwise you can combine both the names together and make it as mr kailash saxena or mr shivanayak mr shiva is wrong but mr shivanayak is right now coming to this messers and in no register in the offices or in the schools or in any other any other government offices we find this messers messers is the title given to the plural form of mr this is the plural form of of mr where do we find this we can find this on the boards of the shops or uh, on the business invoices for example and the short form i forgot to tell we write like this m slash yes it is messers ram and sons here we have a group of people who are organizing the business who are running the business so this is the plural form of mr so we pronounce it as messers messers so master mr and this is messers now let us see how the titles are given to the ladies this is the title given to the unmarried girls mostly we can find this title to be given to the school teachers or the girls who are participating in the beauty con contest for example miss chandrika miss kellen 
and this one this is mrs this is the title given for the people who are married sometimes even it can be used by uh, i i told you this is married woman and we can take it for a widow or a divorcee and as discussed earlier this when you are writing the title mrs it is mandatory that you have to use the last and the first names compulsory if you write only the first name it goes wrong for example mrs can it das mrs mm anita rao in this this becomes the name of the husband suppose if they do want to mention see for example if you take the case of the widow or the divorcee if they do want to mention the name of their husbands you can directly go with mrs das or mrs rao but you are not supposed to mention only the name of the girl otherwise if she doesn't want to use such kind of thing she can go with her maiden name if she doesn't want to mention the name of her husband so now coming to the next one this is miss it is not miss it is miss m e e z m e e z so this is miss so when do we use this miss if a girl doesn't want to indicate her marital status if she wants to put it as a confidential matter so you can use the title ms so it is ms anita so this can be taken so it hides the marital status of a lady so now coming to the next one which is very very new to us it's it's not at all seen anywhere this x what is this x if a person wants to hide the gender if he doesn't want or if she doesn't want to reveal the gender to the public they are given the title m x x stands for the mathematical variable where it doesn't indicate the gender of the person it hides the gender we cannot find whether it is a male or a female who is in the register so here are the titles where you can whenever you go outside whenever you're calling others make sure that you utilize these titles in an effective manner and get the impression from others instead of calling them mrs kenneth or mrs anita better call with the surname as well as the first name of the girl or when it comes for the mr also mr also takes the first name as well as the last name so my dear friends so these are the titles for today for more videos like this you can subscribe to my channel my grammar pages and view more videos on the grammar as well as the pronunciation classes in future thank you so much for watching this video